Hey YouTube, it's Devil Train here. Like I said last episode, we're gonna go into the Fuego Ironworks today. Well, I didn't say it was Fuego, Fuego Ironworks, but it is. It's very Spanish for fire, I'm pretty sure, for it, Fuego. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day in Electrolyzer. Hope for getting an Electrovia. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. I know I am. And uh, I hope this is the right way, because there's two ways you can go, and it is not the right way. At least with TM4 Thunderbolt, which is a great TM. Which I'll never be able to use because I don't use the types in this game. But, uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? It's really warm in the UK today. I'm, I am absolutely boiling. Like, it's been raining and stuff the last few days, and then today, yeah. So, I, like, I'm recording this on this Tuesday because I've got the charity thing tonight with the uh, tapers crazy. Uh, to be honest, I've got massive migraine and I'd rather not, but uh, I, I, it's uh, something I've got to do. So yeah, we've got a heal ball. I'm guessing when you throw it, it heals stuff. Maybe. So, uh, the Fuego Iron Works is where they make iron tools and stuff. I, mean, I think that's what it is. And it's a pretty hidden place. I had no idea this existed for a long time. So let's go in. So it's full of items and little puzzles. It, it kind of reminds me of a... Um, you know, Team Rocket back in the day, like their base, it kind of reminds me of that. I'm finding a yellow shard. So, the whole idea is, every time you find four shards, the yellow, red, blue and green, I think that's how it works, he'll give you a free star piece. So, well, in, in conjunction with trade. But yeah, it's a good trade, I think. So yeah, and there's just like little grunts here and there, and yeah. Since when you unlock Surf in any Pokemon game, it literally unlocks the world. Like, if you guys ever played Emerald, Jesus. That, it literally unlocks the entire, like, world in general. So you can, so you can explore as, as much as you want and stuff. It's crazy. We can't go that way. Um, so, it kind of is nostalgic to the whole Pokemon, uh, Team Rocket business. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Jesus. I hate when it does that, you know, like... I just built my computer up like 20 minutes ago, so like every update just keeps coming through, like a lot. It's kind of annoying, but uh, yeah, we're, we're getting through the dungeon, which is pretty quick. Wait, what you got, dude? Magnemite. Oh, I hate Magnemites. Dead. Magnemite. Dead. Yeah. Magnemite. Dead. <laughs> yeah. So. We are pretty high level now, it's, it's awful to say, but we are getting pretty overpowered, but since I've only got two Pokemon, I can understand it, and I'm back at the entrance. God damn it. So as you can tell, this is like a massive maze, and it can be really annoying to traverse, but uh, I'm sure we can do this, guys. We could do all of this. Up. I'm thinking of... Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I a complete idiot? I think I am. So, you're going to be watching a lot of fails today. Oh yeah, so, um, Green Man Gaming, uh, a website I always purchase games from and stuff. They have actually done their top 50 get ever games and Pokemon is not on any of them yet. Which I am actually really surprised about. But yeah, ooh, we can go up here. But, um, I put Pokemon in one of the best games of this generation, to be honest. Like... There's some other good games like Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot and stuff, but but uh, I am a massive like nerd for Pokemon. Like, well I've got a channel around Pokemon haven't I, so it's understandable. Oh, a green shard, well every colour shard type thing now, so that's always cool. Um, yeah, so let's go this way. Down, right, oh my god these puzzles are getting... Pretty intense. It's, it's annoying because you're in back at the stand, you have to come all the way back. Oh, a Firestone if you want to like evolve it. A Growlithe into an Arcanine or something. Or an Eevee into a Flareon. So I need to look at this. Okay, okay. I think it's just something to do. Yeah. Hills, yeah. So this should unlock all the items in the area. Always cool in the hood. So that, I think we pretty much got all the items. So now we need to make our way to the boss guy. Ooh, a magma. Is that the first time we've seen a magma? I think it is. Oh wow, I got burned. Hot stuff. I think. 
I think I'm gonna go this way, YOLO it. YOLO it, please be right, please be right. God damn it! Uh, this puzzle's really annoying, guys. Really annoying. So, I've been playing a lot of uh, Fallout New Vegas the past two days, and uh, I've, I've never really been a fan of the whole Elder Scrolls games. Well, I've played them, but they're not my forte, you know? And then I, I started getting to Fallout, and I'm like, this is actually pretty good. It's like, it's like Skyrim with guns, pretty much. And to, to be honest, I do see the flow with Skyrim. It is, a, it is a really bloody good game. Which one should I take? This one is the right one, but hmm. Policy, I'll take I'll take this. Oh wow, it was that one. So what you got to say, old man? I don't get this to you often, but uh, yep. Do you want to come here's a souvenir? It gives you a star piece, and every time you get four of the shards, like I said, he would give you a star piece. So yep, there we go. And, uh, yep. Okay, whatever. I need to take number. We've got Flamethrower. Jesus, we've got Thunderbolt and Flamethrower today. Jesus Christ. All the elemental, like, moves and stuff. And with that, we've actually completed Fr Freud Wiring Works. It was more of a showing it off. I didn't want to do too much in it. But, uh, could you jump over here and... Wow, we're, we're back on this route. Who knew? Who then? Yeah. So, next episode, I'm going to be flying back to uh, Celestial Town. And then we're going to be heading to uh, Jubilee City after that. But uh, I just want to go left to see what's on the left of our route next episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'm sorry about the smaller video again, but uh, I don't want to go too far in depth. I'll see you guys next time. And have a great day. Can't forget that. Can't have it. You gotta have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.